Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry playlist. In the last videos, we talked about the titration of amino acids, the peptide bonds, the primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary protein structure. And today, we shall talk about conjugated protein, which is protein plus something else. This is my biochemistry playlist. Please watch these videos in order. The amino acid is made of an amino group to the left, carboxyl group to the right, the side chain of the R group, and the last one, just slap a hydrogen there. What's the name of this carbon? Alpha carbon. The left one is the N terminus, the right one is the C terminus. That's why it's called amino acid. Bingo. Proteins are made of what? Peptides, which are made of amino acids. Are all of the amino acids coded by a genetic code? Shut up. Only the proteogenic ones are. Are all of them incorporated into proteins? Also shut up. Only the proteogenic are. What are these proteogenic amino acids then? The famous 20 amino acids. Each one has a name, one letter abbreviation, and a three letter abbreviation, as we have discussed before. And because I'm a doofus, I misspelled the word abbreviation. It should be double B. We have dipeptides, tripeptides, oligopeptides, and polypeptides. That's why the correct sequence is this from the small to the big. Protein structure was the topic of the previous video primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Please pause and review. And here's the comparison table among them. Pause and review. Today we're talking about conjugated proteins. What the flip is that? Protein plus something else. Is that it? Yeah. But as you know, those doofus biochemistry professors gotta justify their salary. So they will say something technical and sophisticated to the point of being stupid like this. It's protein plus a prosthetic group. Mmm, preach. When you ask them what do you mean by the prosthetic group, they basically say it could be organic, it could be inorganic, which literally means something else, like anything else. Inorganic like what? Like iron. How about organic? Could be carbohydrates, lipids, or nucleic acids. So a conjugated protein could be a protein plus carbohydrate. What do you call that? Glycoprotein. Here's the protein, here's the carbohydrate. Or it could be lipoprotein. Here is the protein, here is the fat. Or it could be nucleoprotein. Here's the protein, here is the nucleic acid. Easy peasy. How about the inorganic iron? Do we have something in our body that has protein and iron in it? Yeah, it's called hemoglobin and it carries oxygen. Get a piece of paper and draw this with me. Here is your total body weight. As you know, 60% of your total body weight is made of water. Here is your total body water. Most of this water is in the intracellular fluid. The rest is in the extracellular fluid. Speaking of the extracellular fluid, we could be plasma or interstitial fluid. Amazing. You know that plasma, right? Yeah. What else is in your blood? Oh, red blood cells. Thank you so much. So your blood is basically red blood cells and plasma. Let's talk about these red blood cells. What do they have? They have hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is made of what? Well, listen to yourself. Hemoglobin. Heme and globin. Ta-da! What the flip is globin? Globular protein. If you break it down, you get some polypeptides and amino acids, which you basically recycle them. But if you break down my heme, what will you find? Iron and protoporphyrin. Oh, so you're trying to say that hemoglobin is a conjugated protein? Thank you, Captain Obvious. Here's the protein. Here is something else. In this case, it was an inorganic ion. Inorganic means um, a member of the periodic table. Back to this protoporphyrin. If I break down my protoporphyrin, what will I get? I will get beliverdin. And if I will keep metabolizing my beliverdin, what do I get? I get bilirubin. Oh, and this bilirubin is now unconjugated bilirubin. Take it to the liver and the liver will conjugate it for you to become conjugated bilirubin. So let's review. Your blood is made of plasma and cells. The cells are red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Let's talk about red blood cells. Here they are, coming from the pluripotent stem cells of your bone marrow, if you remember my biology videos. 
Red blood cells are circular, biconcave, non-nucleated. They have no nucleus, no mitochondria, no ribosome. And because they have no mitochondria, they cannot perform the TCA cycle or the electron transport chain. Say goodbye to your oxidative phosphorylation. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which is made of heme and globin. That's a conjugated protein right here. Here's the protein. Here's the prosthetic group. Red blood cells are full of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is heme and globin. Globin is just some amino acids, but heme is iron and protoporphin. Protoporphin will become biliverdin, which will become bilirubin. This is unconjugated so far. Take it to the liver. The liver will conjugate it for you because the liver has many enzymes, including the enzyme that conjugates. Conjugation literally means lumping some stuff together. And you end up with lovely conjugated bilirubin. If you enjoyed this video, you will adore my acid base imbalance course at medicosisperfectionist.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense.